How's it going, internets? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation, time to get that imagination all revved up, get into some creativity, and it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration is a special one for some reason. I can't believe that I haven't talked about him in, what, the eight months that we've been doing daily videos? One of my favorites, and that is Brian Froud. And if you're not familiar with his work, check right over here. You probably know him from his work on any sort of um, fairy tale books or gnome books or his uh, concept art that was used uh, to really get the uh, feeling of the labyrinth or the dark crystal really influential in those two films as well i love his stuff i think he has such a wonderful imagination and there's an interesting um discussion i think it was uh, from an interview that he did where he talked about his work um, that, it, that it makes people so happy and so upset at the same time and they're happy in that they love his work and it just really inspires them and it's sad because it's it, it it takes them back to this reality or this otherworldly nature that you're so familiar with and yet it's almost like you forgot it for so long and it, it's a connection there and I really feel like his his work uh, for me at least um, definitely has that quality of otherworldliness that seems so familiar and maybe it's like uh, brings you back to your childhood or brings you back to um, and he just iterates on uh, themes and uh, the way that he creates stuff that just seems like you don't know it but yet somehow it seems familiar and I think that's a wonderful wonderful way when you can uh, expand upon imagination and creativity in a way that's recognizable and that people resonate with but yet is something new and exciting um, so let's take a look at a couple of his pieces like i said i'm a huge fan and in awe of, of how amazing his work is i love this stuff his creatures his line works great i love the kind of watercolor um, feel uh, throughout there i think that um he and um miyazaki if you look at a lot of miyazaki sketches um they, they have like a really rough kind of watercolor that I just love, 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 love that style. Uh, I need to get into doing watercolor myself someday, someday. Uh, but I love his stuff, his creatures and his characters. They all seem to have a, a whimsy and just this feel of, of recollection to them that is just gorgeous. So if for some reason you guys haven't seen his work before, unlike any other person that i've mentioned at least in the last six months um please stop and go check out his work and give him some praise and, and uh, uh get inspired by his stuff because it it completely inspires me I'm, I'm a huge 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 fan just wonderful wonderful stuff and i uh, i'm not even showing half of the amazing pieces that he's done i want you guys to go discover and find out stuff um, for yourself but oh oh i love his stuff it's so beautiful so imaginative and so unlike anyone else before um, he came out uh, it really wasn't it's like a whole new revelation of uh, fantasy imagery really very cool stuff okay so um i did i was able to find a quote um, from him from an interview that he did that i, re that I really liked and he said uh, i still somehow believed in it and kept going and he was talking about when when he was first kind of coming up that fantasy illustration um and fairies and gnomes and trolls and goblins and all that kind of stuff when when he was first starting in the industry it was really kind of not taking off and there wasn't a lot of people that were um believing in him and allowing him to publish books and do that they just didn't think that it would be a sellable market um for his stuff and, and he said that he just knew that that was what he was supposed to do and that was what he was called to do and uh you know somehow he just stuck with it and he kept going with his real dream and his real vision and uh, maybe it was just a skill that had to evolve or, or the people that had to evolve to see that but I think that's um, so inspirational for me at least to um, try and find out what it is that you're passionate about and find out those things that, that you know obviously it's going to evolve as you grow in the medium and understand it more and push yourself but to really just keep believing in yourself and your dreams and to go forward and take another step and push another day and to never give up and i think that's a great wonderful message um, so i hope that's what you guys are doing today is that you go off and you create something unique and wonderful and really imaginative today today right now if you stop the video right now turn it off and go create something 
that would just be amazing. So I hope that you guys do that. Um, but if you want to hang out with me for a little bit longer, let's get into some animation. This is the Pudge Rig. It's a free rig you can grab over at Creative Crash. Um, no, it's not from Creative Crash. Sorry about that. It's uh, one of the Dota 2 collection of rigs from the Steam community. I'll throw a link in the description below down with more stuff from um, Brian Fraud if you want to check out his stuff as well. And if you're not familiar with what we'll be doing for the rest of the video, I go off and I find a rig that I've never used before. It's a free resource for you guys to play around with as well. And we kind of go from there a little bit of over the shoulder, just hang out with me while I animate a little bit of talking through the process. But like I was um, hearkening on a little bit before, the main goal of doing these videos each and every day is to hopefully encourage you guys and inspire you each and every day to take another step in your journey, to find your passion, to not give up on your dreams and just go for it. And even if the stuff that you create today sucks, you know, maybe you learned just something from it or you learned what you don't like doing or, or you gained something and you're pushing yourself um, towards mastering whatever medium it is that you're passionate about. So let's go ahead and get into some animation. I'm just all excited from looking at Brian Froud's work. So I'm probably going to be a little rambly today, but let's go ahead and play. So um, for this one, I was thinking what we could do is... We have one IK arm and one FK arm, which is kind of funky, but we'll work with that. So I think we'll make it kind of like a, this one would be a not fully developed kind of arm or favored arm, like maybe an injured kind of, or uh, just that it's kind of a limpy arm. So we'll, we'll kind of hold it near the chest, like one of those little arms. And then we'll, we'll uh, drag this foot. So this one will make steps and this one will drag. And let's rotate it out a little bit more that way. And this one over here will just move it. And then we'll keep it back. I think that's a better silhouette here. We'll tilt that, bring it back. And I think we might rotate it just a little bit. Let's start uh, with the pose kind of like that. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any finger controllers to work with here, so it's going to kind of change our posing a little bit more. We can't get as intricate in some of those hand poses, but I think we'll still find something workable here. Maybe we'll drop the hips a little bit lower. Okay, so let's go ahead and start kind of with that kind of a pose and make sure we just have our nerve curves, nerve surfaces, and polygon selected. We'll go to frame zero, save our file real quick. We are using Autodesk Maya 2014 for today's video. For more information on that and all the stuff that we've talked about so far, check out all the links in the description below. And let's go ahead and grab everything and we'll hit S on our keyboard and lock in our first frame here. I think I wanna go a little slower. six frames so this will be a little bit slower and back maybe that's a little too far forward we're actually getting some width but i'm going to add some twist in there so i'm not too worried about that but let's look here window animation editors graph editor look at our translate zoom and let's just scale this back a little bit more all right and let's look at this one
actually back a little bit more. Okay, now like I said, we're gonna drag this foot, so we're never gonna fully um, lift it up. But also, I think what would be kind of fun is to make it kind of like a more of a bum foot. So um, just for the sake of making sure that we can look. Uh, if we're getting on the ground plane all right, let's go ahead and create a little cube here. So that way we can know how this foot's going to look here. Let's see. If we don't like this, we can always revert back here. Let's see if that'll be fun. Too far forward, though. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a couple steps back and I'll leave the foot planted. Kind of an interesting idea, but I think I think it'll be stronger if we don't have that in there. To go back to the keep it simple, stupid rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this foot because this one is gonna lift and go down here. Let it lift up, go down, lift up, and come down. So let's see. push that back more. So maybe not as far back here, so it'll just move a little bit less. Maybe a little bit less there too. start looking at the hip here. Let's go down here, up here, and down here, and up here. This might be easier to read not in a cycle. We'll see.
more than I could do, though. It's just break it like that a little bit more. Let's see now. Stick that in that position is too far back. If we did one on 14 and then one on 16, that could be kind of fun to switch up the timing there. So that won't be bad, but we'll give ourselves an extra frame here. Let's take this one here. Push it an extra frame. This one here. And we'll push it an extra frame so that way we'd have a one that's on sevens and then one that's on eights. And then one that's on sevens and then one that's on eights. Do 60 frames. That'd be kind of fun. We play around with that. Break and replay. Let me set it there. I don't know what I have plugged in here. Oh, I'm going to get rid of those because that was too beautiful. We even made that more extreme when we did this one on sixes and the other one on nines and that would play up the timing variation a little bit more so let's try that so we'll push that up to six and this one up to 12. we got nine frames from that so that would be 21 so we take all that and push that back here and then this one would be 30. then we go back to sixes Go back to nines. One. And then cycle back in here. Let's 
balance that out a little bit better. Now what if we cut this on 14? So I just moved one down, so 14. swing on its own if you want. Okay, and then I'll grab this one and then break it back at five. So now it should be Maybe we need to put a little more information in here because really we're not doing, having a lot of spacing between our, our keys there. I think we do a little more movement here too. Make it up just a bit. Let's 
more on the hips. So now we want to rotate into that one a little bit more. And back there. Into that one a little bit more. And back there. And then let's look up. Okay, I'm going to take this foot push it inward a little bit and translate X so just want to grab my foot here he's a little too far out there just a little bit more like that okay and let's do a little bit of rotate come on just grab the right controller there a little bit of drag back Let's do one more frame for that. Try and balance it out a little bit better. Let's see. Hey, buddy. And then let's go a little bit higher up there. Let's see. Can you say hi to everybody? Zeke wants some attention there. And let's go ahead and flip this one. Rotate that foot back a little bit more. Let's make sure that we'll lock it in here before we do that. Set that, set that, set that, set that. Let's look at this hand. And let's go up a little bit. Over a little bit. And then we'll go in as well. So 21. We'll go down a little bit. Over a little bit. Just trying to keep it in that same kind of space there.
take our chance of axes and let's push those south off. Then let's first point it out here. steps back. That's working better than before. start on this. So leave it alone for now. Let me punch it out of the way through here. So we like it here. We want about 12. Yeah. There. So it kind of feels it's holding there. We might do 30. 
just don't have to do it. I moved my little chest so I should be work on that for but rather than focus on this too much just yet. Do a little bit of rotate zoom. Rotate zoom. Rotate zoom. Rotate zoom. Get back. Yep. Good thing I didn't get too caught up spending too much time on that, which is probably gonna be wasted. Oh well, that's alright. Always good to lock in all the stuff on your hips and your chest and all that stuff first anytime you're working with the IK. Because chances are you're going to have to redo it and do it again. And that's alright. Zoom here. Want it this way. Want it this way. Want it this way. And then back. Okay, let's clean those up. Minimize them a little bit more. And let's see how we're doing. Okay, is this going to be just a belly controller? Awesome. That's what I was hoping. So just look at the transit Y, get rid of the transit Z axis for right now, just so I can get some balance working on that belly. Yeah, it should hit its lowest point a couple of frames before, so that'll be like three.
to swap some. That's too slow though. This is this is why. Okay, did this one too long with the error. And this last one should be a long one. Okay, well that will be why. This should be the error. Okay, that should be a little better. See, I did a, a 12 and a 12 and two uh, 18s in the middle instead of doing a 12 and an 18 and a 12 and an 18. And we will cut that down just a little bit more.
to mess around with. So let's try and just do it every 15 frames. too much. too far out here. Try looking at the spacing between the head. Let's see. Alright, now let's look here. No, twenty feet. Thirty-seven. Fifty-two. Obviously, it's too much. But let's scale it back a little bit more.
So we're doing that same thing I was doing before. Okay, so 12, and 36, 42, 51. Yeah, we want that 51. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's see that. Let's fizzle a little. Silver file here, and then let's do a little bit. Let's do translate Y's here. Key selected. I'll do kind of the same timing I had before here on the belly. I'll only do the chest like a frame later or so. Keep the same base timing here so we have something to work with. Bring that back and let's see. Alright, and we can add every other one. Bring that down and we'll put it down on this one. Delay it uh, what, two frames. Yeah, just one frame. Keep that a little bit of rotate X here. Up, down, up, down, up, down. side knives, we can do a little bit there too. So we'll rotate them back here a little bit. Get to where I want to go forward. Let's fix that in the back. Look at those rotate Z's and I'll tone those down a bit more. So I think universally we just need to raise them up a little bit higher. Let's see. Okay. 
this part right, and then we'll take this one and push it all over a frame. This one, push it back a frame, just so we get some variation there. Let's see. Okay, I do need to take this one a little bit more, so that it's not intersecting through. One. And let's go back a little bit more here. Let's just exaggerate it.
Let's see a lot more. Mixture of rotate X and translate Y in a jaw. So you get some rotate and some translate in there. Let's see. Alright, put two over the top. So I'll scale back. Thought I had put a few wings there. Still a little too much. We'll scale back. We'll scale back our translate lines as well. There we go. I'm not sure if they'll know this way. So there's a little bit of movement throughout there. Yeah, we can cut that to a little, to just a minimal amount. Let's see there. Let's see how that feels. I think I'll push it universally up a little bit higher though. Just so we have a little bit of keep alive movement in there. some timing built into these guys already. Key selected. Just going off the time of the chest from the front here. Then we'll probably push these forward for now. Okay, and then let's look at the sides here. And now we have our translate Y, so we have our timing built in here. Push them all forward for now. Every other one, and we'll do that. And we can exaggerate the top tails as well as. Actually, I think I'm going to go the opposite way here. Nope. 
nice look at each of them and it will vary in a little bit more. So I'm not hitting the same values at the same time. these guys as well and we'll base our timing based on here so just grab our transit lines So I have a uh, good base timing to start with here. Keep that. Lots of fun extras on this rig for sure. Let's go back here. Okay, so now we have a base timing to start with here. We'll grab all of those. We'll grab all of our transit lines. Which might end up being something else besides transit line that we use, but at least we have structure built in. Grab every other one. And push it. Thin a little bit. And grab all the tops here. And then press those up a little bit so we get some flop in there. well so our values aren't the same throughout. So even if they're hitting on the same frame they'll have a different pose than that. here. And push it down a little bit more. Okay. 
this one because I'm sure it's getting pretty lit. It's already. Let's go ahead and we'll just do a little bit of rotate. And this is where I am gonna. definitely spend another hour or so cleaning up and polishing this and pushing it a little bit more but I think we've got some um, pretty it's almost on ones with the amount of stuff that we put in there through everything so lots of info there but let's take a look back at where we started we're looking at the beautiful work of um, Brian Froud and he said I still somehow believed in it and kept going so don't give up on your dreams find it is find out what it is that you're passionate about and take another step in your journey each and every day towards mastering whatever medium it is that you uh, you just love, that is your dream and your goal and uh, your most fantastical wish. And uh, take another step each and every day. I love you guys lots. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes, and we will see you for some more animation tomorrow.